Welcome everyone, we are from Mission Gate and we are having you in a session with our topics. Right now we have Ishra Bhatt who secured 1062 Air Landing Gate. So congratulations first of all. So let us start by your journey. So I joined Mission Gate uh, last year on 19th March itself uh, when the result came. So the one year journey was like I just enrolled in the course and after within 2-3 to three days uh, lockdown was declared all over India. So I was like how will I cope up and how will I manage all these studies because the main motive I joined this institute was to learn in the classroom environment with the peers and with the sir itself but within a week or so sir made me so comfortable with the online lectures that it felt like I was uh, attending the lectures in an offline environment and after the lectures I could easily discuss with all my peers and that was the biggest thing and that helped me a lot in my journey itself Okay, so uh, how did you come up with this quarantine? Uh, since everyone was quarantined, so during pandemic we have online lectures. So everyone else is having bond with each other, they are friends and you knew anyone right now as we saw. So how it was with you having conversation online? So starting one month, uh, it was very difficult for me as I didn't knew anyone. Hmm. So I just started approaching uh, people one by one. So I used to call some friends and uh, they used to help me a lot. So and after that I used to text Jaydeep and Ashtosh also uh, and some other friends Amai and Gaurav they all helped me a lot um, and it was like whenever I called them they were like free and they were eager to solve my doubts they weren't like I'm busy right now I couldn't answer you so that was the thing that made it very easy for me because I could just call anyone of sir itself because any other institute you couldn't call the professor directly stating that sir I have a particular problem could you help me in that so this was the thing that helped and uh, made my journey very easy for me too. Sir, what will you like to say about this So, as he told, right, the research join are just actually pre-pandemic days, right, in on 19th March 2020. And uh, immediately, right, and it looks like even 19th March itself, right, uh, maybe lockdown will happen today or it is tomorrow. And if I am right, Modi ji has already announced either 18th or 19th March that there is Janta curfew on 22nd March. Uh, so, but uh, Rishabh has joined and he did not attend even a single offline lecture actually classes. And from 20th onwards, right, we have started the online lectures. But what I have seen, right, for him, uh, it's always actually 75% credit definitely goes to these students only for his success. Uh, without even attending one day offline lectures, I have seen Rishabh used to send me the WhatsApp messages, right? Some I am not able to understand this thing, right? Or how to solve this actually particular problems. It's not just he is ignorant, okay, I am not able to understand, I plan for offline because there is no offline club, so I should be. And once actually government has uh, given the permissions and all those things, right? Uh, so whenever he has any read this thing actually in Pane, right? If I am coming into the office and going, right, he used to ask me the problem, right? Sir, I have to solve this problem. And at the very last day of his examination, right? The examination is scheduled on 13th March and he asked his doubts, right? Uh, just hardly you can say barely 12 hours ago of the examinations. Uh, so definitely I will try my best efforts to be available uh, with all of my students. Uh, so the same thing happened actually with the research and every one of them also. And before the examinations I used to call my students right, not once or twice right, uh, three, four times so you are feeling you follow this strategy, you follow those strategy, right, what is your problem, right. So everything kind of things and I discussed with the research also and finally yes. His hard work in this difficult time paid off and he will get admission as per his own desire institute wherever he will uh, he want to get the admissions and definitely his whole uh, family will be proud of it. Uh, just before the pre-context actually, before meeting me, uh, Rishabh came into this institute and I was actually in the, uh, the other taking classes. He met with Arushi and Arushi told me sir there was a student actually Rishabh and with his story is quite similar to me and I have guided him and you just talk to one sim right and he may have also better future so you don't know right so I think for uh, Rishabh Arushi is one of the boon right uh, she has guided him he is here now he can get admission wherever right uh, he wants so it's a kind of a chain of a success 
सो संकीर्त पुरंदरी की यस गाइडेड आरुषि आरुषि राइट स्टेट बैंक एंड इवन आफ्टर टू कंटिन्यूस अटेम्प्ट ऑफ फेलर शी वाज नॉट विद विजन गे एंड देन शी ज्वाइन एक्चुअली विजन गे एंड वंस आरुषि सक्सेडेड शी हैज गाइडेड राइट रिसर्व मे बी रिसर्व विल गाइड समवन एल्स सो दिस इज अ चेन ऑफ अ सक्सेस सो पॉजिटिविटी ऑलवेज अट्रैक्ट्स पॉजिटिविटी एंड नेगेटिविटी ऑलवेज अट्रैक्ट्स नेगेटिविटी एंड इट इज अप टू यू व्हेदर यू वांट टू बी पॉजिटिव so rich of staying at home and studying will be quite a hectic task because you cannot stay motivated alone you need someone around you to compete with so how do you manage doing this so for a competitive part uh, we we uh, we two friends were there uh, one was amit nikam and the other was gaurav so we used to create a whatsapp group of our own and we used to discuss our doubts so regarding the competitive environments uh, starting from july or august uh, start uh, told us to give the mock test of previous year papers so it was like we scheduled our own uh, time table regarding that we will we all three were uh, will be attempting those mock tests so it was like they were getting good marks sometimes and i was getting good marks sometimes so it was like a healthy competition between the three of us and it stayed till the last till the end itself because we used to give all the tests together we used to discuss all the tests together sometimes after the lecture ended we used to um, continue our meeting on the google meet for 2 to 3 hours for a particular question or a discussion so that environment and that motivated me a lot because i didn't know any one of them and i haven't met both of them till now so it was like i knew them but i didn't recognize them so these two people were also very helpful for me and other than that after the lectures i could call any of my friends or the peer here and they used to tell me my doubts and clear my doubts so apart from these two all the uh, my uh, my students and peer guided me and for the competitive part these two were very helpful what do you think is the worst decision to make while preparation Like some of the worst distractions can have. Worst? Distractions. Distractions. Okay. So staying at home, sometimes I used to feel demotivated. Yeah. As um, so, I used to steer away from my studies, and the main distraction for me was my gaming. To be frank, so oh, I used to game a lot, and it was like ki if I have to complete a particular uh, particular question or a particular chapter today, I just used to skip it mm. or procrastinate it. But the thing was like after two to three days. it used to haunt me that for that 2 to 3 hours i could easily complete a particular chapter mm-hmm. but this game will stay this all the other secondary things will stay even after my game so till game everything can stay you know, everything can halt or you can attempt these things after game because they will be there your exam is only once a year you have to prepare for that these things are secondary and immaterial so mm-hmm. this thing drove me away from my gaming or my distractions and uh, made me to stick on my plans and So as you said, you had this gaming obsession. So you must have backlogs, right? Yeah. So as long as you have backlogs, you know things are piling up, and now new things like survey is something daily yes, for yes, four yes. hours, yes. and then you have to process it. Yes. You have to solve it. So uh, just in that point, you more I have something, and yes, now yes. I have new input. So what did you used to do about this? So this was with me like for two to three days. I used to give, um, so I used to tell that two particular chapters from this particular subject, and I'm like, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. So for a week or so, I did. Um, I stayed away from my studies and only gaming. I did a lot of a lot of gaming. So uh, once in the evening, I was sitting and I was thinking like, why did I choose game? So <clears throat> why am I staring away? Because uh, I have been preparing or I have been giving game. This is my third attempt. So I was. It was there in my back of mind that. i am giving my third attempt and even if this time also if i am not uh, concentrating or i am not putting my efforts and what's the use of it all these things can stay and will stay mm-hmm. but this paper is coming only once a year and i am able to attempt it only once a year so after that particular moment and it was around in may mid i guess mm-hmm. so after that i didn't touch my mobile for gaming itself and that thing shook me and it was like a pinch for me that uh, the pinch of truth as you can say that you have to do it this thing will stay so after that i just uninstalled everything and just concentrated on myself so once you had this epiphany like no i have to yes, yes, yes. stop all this so there were never the times when you used to feel i am dumb or you used to go introspective so 
how to deal with this so i used to have those moments because sometimes um, i used to feel that i'm studying this thing for the past 4 years plus 2 years of my journey and still i'm not able to do this how dumb i am but an inner voice was there that you can do it just just stay for a while just hang on okay one you will do it and you can do it so that was the moment i never gave up there were times when i used to give up but i used to call my friends or i used to look at my family itself because everyone was there so that was a kind of motivation for me because it never happens that uh, once your mother or father are ill so they are like we won't do this job we won't do that do that job but as a student as a as a child they are giving you everything and here you are sitting on your bedroom and just staring away from your studies so it haunts you at night you can't sleep we, uh, it used to happen with me that they are putting their 100% sir is putting his 100% here you are sitting just wasting your time so what's the use of it so sometimes and after um, april or may the incident happened it motivated me seeing my mom dad and my other uh, sir itself motivated me a lot that they are putting their 100% they are never sir is never stopping the class so why should i stop if he is not giving up then why should i give up so that motivated me and made me feel like you have to go and carry on so as i said uh, he used to be in constant yes, yes. connect with you so how did you keep up with this connection with sir so the first thing was at first when i uh, was enrolling so arushi first for told me that you could message sir directly mm-hmm. you could message him any time and he will reply right so first i was skeptical that is it even possible that for so much students only one sir is teaching and he will be so responsible but i still remember around uh, mid april i guess i used had it out in dss subject so i was very uh, he- he- resistant or hesitant to call sir or to text him so i just texted him with sir this is my doubt and within 5 to 10 minutes he responded back and solved my doubt so at that time i was like you know it's true that he is there for you and that to in the starting month mm-hmm. and within a month or i guess within 25 days itself i'm texting him a doubt and he is responding to my doubt mm-hmm. and yes as sir told that my exam was on 13th on the uh, uh, phone note session so at 6 in the evening i called sir regarding the doubt so i was like he will sir answer it or will not but i was still skeptical and hesitant because i didn't meet him in person i didn't have that personal touch with him mm-hmm. i just used to call him text him i have met him uh, quite a few times so but even though means around 12 to 13 hours prior to the gate exam the faculty and the main sir is giving his 100% mm-hmm. solving your doubts so mm-hmm. what else do you want and that personal touch as you see so right now our batch is suffering through the same thing of pandemic wherein we are really really like we want to come for offline classes yes, but yes. we have the circumstances so we can so what is your motivation for us the how we are supposed to cope up with everything online lectures and so you, know, you have college lectures too you have submissions and everything so it's like just uh, but one thing main thing is that do attend the lectures live mm-hmm. don't see the recorded video, videos ever because the feel you get and the discussion that happens during the live lectures is way better than watching the recorded videos because for example in a live session sir will give you a particular sum he will wait around 10 to 15 minutes and we'll see who are who all are doing that particular sum but if you're watching that as a recorded lecture then you will be like 10 15 minutes ah, i can skip it skip 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 you will directly jump to the answer so that 10 15 minutes you, you are thinking that i am saving this 10 15 minutes but the concept that you could build or the thinking capabilities that you can generate in those 10 15 minutes that won't be generated so attend the lectures live and regarding the college and all i personally i was a drop out student so okay. i couldn't comment on that thing that said but i try to manage everything because but main thing is try attend the lectures live don't see the recording lectures ever because discussion happens and that discussion because a particular time sometimes it happened with me that i used to watch live lectures but quite a few time i was like yeah, i watch the recorded lectures not the live one so by solving particular questions i had a doubt that why did sir did like this and not this way so at that recorded time i couldn't call anyone or i couldn't text him or i couldn't message anyone that why did this happen so this thing you have to ensure that doesn't happen so for that always attend the lectures live don't ever go for the recorded ones Okay, so anything? Uh, some of your mistakes that you made, so we can avoid it. <laughs> yes, the main mistake is give tests 
religiously mm-hmm. and more because uh, frankly speaking i did skip some of my tests mm-hmm. uh, the full length test and the topic wise and all that test mm-hmm. also and try to be calm during the examination mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. last two attempts also my main mistake was i used to panic in the exam so after seeing particular question if i am not able to see i was not thinking of that particular question i was thinking of my future at that time mm-hmm. that what will happen if i won't attend this what will happen so this time also such situation came during the exam so it was like ki you have to wait and just give so continue and don't ever stop mm-hmm. and regarding the other mistakes like this was a mistake and do revise the subject quickly and um, efficiently and the one thing is that what sir says follow them religiously and blindly just think well, i was also thinking that why sir telling this why is this? i just uh, within a, a week or so i used to do like if sir is saying this i won't do this i use my own instinct and my own gut feeling i do this thing but after two tests i saw my results and i was like no but sir is telling is right for you do it religiously and kindly don't ask or don't question anything there is a disagreement thank you so much rishabh your story is very motivating and i know all of the viewers are also going to find this motivating because staying at online it sucks and everyone knows yes. that so yeah thank you all and we'll be coming back with uh, another Q&A session with our topics thank you so much